All right, about five years ago, I done a propane conversion on my lawnmower. I had a Murray, and my wife told me it looked like it was retarded, so I disconnected it and hooked my gas back up. Since then, my brother's been telling me to redo, do another one yeah, on my Troy built. And uh, he said everybody's doing it. He said he hasn't seen any, any riding mowers done this way, so uh, he knew I'd done one about five years ago. He just didn't know how. So here's my uh, ride more propane setup. Now, as you can see, I'm using a 20 pound uh, propane cylinder. But what my plans are, and I was gonna do it today, I bought this adapter. Take this adapter and hook it to the regulator here, which this regulator doesn't work. It doesn't screw on here. Got to find a screw on. I got a regulator in my garage, which I can't find right now, and it does. So eventually, this will replace this. Obviously, make it like a lot better. I'll probably mount it probably like this. And I have the adapter here to hook to the tank to refill this tank. So I don't have to keep going to the store. The most convenient thing I see about this, this conversion is you don't have to go to the store every week and buy a gallon of gas or whatever, especially when gas gets expensive as it is. Um, as you can see, this is a standard toy built. It has no gas in it, zero. Gas line isn't even, isn't even hooked up. Um, like I said, 20 pound propane tank, which my wife looks, said looks retarded. Uh, other than that, everything else is stock. So, so let's do this stuff up there and see if this bad boy runs. I've done this conversion about Conversion about 20 minutes ago. So, I did have my seat unhooked so I could get off of it. I have to disconnect that again so I can get off of the lawnmower while it's running. disconnected so I can get off. Alright. Turn the propane on. That's what I'm doing. Had too much propane going to the car for
running. Adjust my propane. Here it's going now. May shut off. I keep turning it. Running. All the ones I saw on YouTube so far, I've been pushing more, and they said that they can't run over nine more miles. small tank up like I said my wife says I'm crazy of course well I just don't understand well, I check this I always check the tank try to turn it the right way so going back this is garage that's why I can't find my other regulator going back I bought this adapter for this tank that'll hook into a normal regulator and whenever I find my regulator it'll screw right in it'll take the place of the regulator I have then I'll use then I'll use this to control my airflow. Uh, we've already saw this. This is what I'm gonna use to refill this tank right here. So I'll, I'll carry it with me. So going back, recap. Like I said, my wife says that's too gaudy and looks stupid and look retarded, blah, 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 blah. So to recap, replace that regulator with one that has the threads. So this will fit in and Put this valve here and replace that valve right there. And it's a 90 degree valve. Let me see if I can start that. That's a 90 degree valve. So not much much room for play, playroom, but I have a I have an answer for that too. So um, and then uh, so recap, set this up here for example. Or even cheat, for that matter. For that matter. Set it right there. And then this is just a kind of a oddball right now. I'm just eyeballing it. Shoot for, for that matter, set it right here. There on top of the gas tank. Run the line from there. I can make my put my adjuster here, here on top or on the side right here. Put my valve there and run me a hose down to my carburetor. So that's my future plans. So my wife won't be embarrassing me riding around the yard. And I think it'd be kind of neat. I'm sure I have to replace, refuel the tank probably every two hours or so. I'm guessing maybe hour, hour and a half. But that's what I got that for with the adapter to refill it. So I should be able to get 20 refills on this tank here. With that, and maybe even more. Hang on. Yeah, maybe a little bit more because it's a little bit bigger than a normal green tank. So I plan on uploading this on YouTube. And uh, again, like I said, here's my valve. If you Google propane refills or something, you'll find this. This cost like 16 bucks 
This one was six dollars. Then I had to pay well, eight dollars. I had to pay six dollars to ship it. Believe it or not. And I'll have to buy some more hose, of course. And there's a little adapter came with the kit that I bought. And this one I bought right here. There you go. And this is the one I would recommend because it's more of a uh, puts out a lot more flow than because uh, it's made for the uh, turkey burners or whatever. So the jets are put out a lot more um, propane. And um, I cut the end off, which I should I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have made adapters. Um, so if you're trying, if you're going to try and do it, I probably wouldn't cut the ends off. Um, and I, I don't think it's putting out too much of a flow to have to worry about the uh, being too cold. So I don't have to worry about a vaporizer or anything on it. And that's just me. I didn't do it five years ago, and obviously I was ahead of ahead of the game five years ago. So because um, nobody else was even doing it back then. And it wasn't until here recently my brother told me about it and everybody's just now doing it and he said he hasn't seen any riding mowers done so just helps anybody give me a uh, heads up anybody want to help me with my car still working on it give me uh give me some uh, words of encouragement thank you um i hope this helps somebody out there thanks man